In this video, we're going to look at three areas of every single themed entertainment project. Hi, I'm Theron from Designers Creative Studio, and I'm here to help you learn and master themed entertainment. First, we're going to look at all the different project roles that fall into four categories. Next, we're going to look at the responsibilities of each one of those roles. And then finally, how all those roles work together to form a team. You know, every single project needs a solid team collaboration to be able to deliver magic to millions of people. I'm going to give you an overview broadly about all of those roles and categories. Make sure that you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to give you some tips that will help you work on a team. Every team in the themed entertainment industry has multiple disciplines and multiple roles that it requires to deliver these complex projects. But I've broken them down into four different categories or disciplines that will help you to understand how those roles actually fit on a team together. So those four are creative, delivery, design, and management. Now let's dive into this a lot deeper. So let's look at creative. The different types of roles that occupy the category or the discipline of creative are roles like writers, production designers, graphic designers, concept illustrators, creative directors, art directors. It's all of those creative team members that generate those ideas in the very beginning of the project and shepherd those ideas in that experience vision all the way through to the end of the project. The next category I want to look at is delivery. Now, as the name suggests, the professionals in this category are like your project managers, your construction managers, the people that go on the sites to oversee everything as it's being built. That group of professionals' responsibility is just what it sounds like. The schedules, the budgets, managing all of the contractors, managing the construction site and having um, all of that construction site come together and work really seamlessly through all of the different phases of building. The other category I wanna look at that actually forms a bridge between creative and delivery is a category called design. Now that's a huge broad category, but primarily when you hear of design, you should think about architects and engineers. Now these professionals actually are designing all of the buildings, the ride structures, the uh, designing and finishing all of the interiors. They do landscape design. Design is a massive category that takes the creative visioning that the creative team put together and matches that with the schedule and the budget and the delivery goals of the delivery team. And that's why design is kind of a bridge between those two disciplines. Um, and that those three categories that we just talked about really work collaboratively all the way through the process from before concept all the way to after completion, after delivery. The next group that I want to talk about is called management. Now that's just my name for the group um, because that group consists of the estimators, the, the people who write the contracts, the finance people, the schedulers, and these team members really help to balance everything. There are many more disciplines that have roles within themed entertainment industry projects, and they are like ride designers or specialty fabricators or media designers, interactive game designers. There's so many different types of specialty subject matter experts that uh, come to play in this project process, and it really kind of depends on the type of project that you're doing. A cruise ship would be very, very different than an attraction or a theme park. A water park would be very different from a casino or a hotel. So I think you get the idea that the core to the team would be creative, delivery, and design, and then those elements of the management team, and together with all the specialty designers, that's what forms the team. And that level of collaboration is really, really critical. The next thing I would like to look at, which I think you'll find pretty interesting, is the differences between each one of these categories, each one of these disciplines or professions. So if you think about creative, the very nature of creative is to dream big. Creative likes to take risks, they drive innovation, and they're really non-linear thinkers. If you take that and compare that to the delivery team members, these professionals are process oriented. They really avoid risk. They base um, everything that they do historically. So the last project that we did, it took us this long to do that, or the price of steel costs this much. They're really kind of looking back and using that last project as a guide. And then finally, they're very linear in the way that they think. They have to be. 
they think this phase, then that phase, and they carry through the project that way. If you take those two and then look at design as a way to bridge between those two categories, the design professionals actually have to be licensed to practice their profession. They have to be legally licensed, and that license really causes them to avoid a lot of risk. If you think about architects and engineers, they have to work according to building codes, and building codes change wherever you are, especially if you're overseas. And then finally, the design team members actually are working to a budget and a schedule. Remember, they're taking the creative vision, which includes the business goals of the client, and they're also applying those to the budget and the schedule and making sure to try to de deliver their design within that time frame. Remember, the management team members are trying to balance between all of those various differences within those roles. If I have an idea uh, for an attraction or a land or a theme park, that idea is never um, exactly the way that I envisioned it at the very end of the project because all these incredible teams get to play a part in delivering that. That causes the idea to evolve, to become better, to become more. And all of those team members, team members like you, contribute to that vision. They own part of that vision. And that's what delivers the very best product on the end. That's why millions of people come and see what we create. They love what we create and it makes their lives better. Hey, for those of you that stuck around to the end of the video, thanks so much. And here is your special tip. Now, I hope that you can see when we compare all of these different goals together for each one of these categories, it really looks diametrically opposed. And what that does is it creates a very special type of tension on the project team. And I call that tension positive tension. Now, this is your tip. Positive tension is not bad tension as long as the team members keep it positive. Those sparks that happen between the differences in each one of these categories, the idea is that it drives innovation. It drives the team to be the best that it can possibly be. You know, these categories really form the basics of all teams on themed entertainment projects. And I hope that you found a perfect place for yourself to fit within this particular team dynamic. I would love for you to comment below. Tell me where you think you fit. What's your passion? Creative, delivery, design. Tell me where you think you fit. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure that you like and subscribe. Turn on that bell for post notifications and share with your friends. My website will also be linked in the description box below for more information and lots more content. I'll see you next time in the studio.